Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Project Ozone 3 Kappa Mode, where we got creepy sounds from wraiths and stuff nearby. I think there's one directly below me. Uh, anyway, we're here in the nether once again. I was going to work on my sword, and I was going to give ourselves a cobalt sword blade, but I think demon metal is probably going to be the best option for us, at least right now. And in order to make that, we do need some nether brick, which we don't have. So I'm just coming here to steal four pieces. We'll probably come through here and bane mine one of these fortresses at some point in the future. But right now, the only thing we need is just four pieces so we can make ourselves a lava well to toss gold into. Yep. All right. So that was, uh, what was it? That was quite the adventure. Uh, adventure time is now over. <laughs> anyway, back to the overworld here. Yeah, we just need to grab ourselves a bucket of lava and some gold. Uh, I don't know how much we need. You know what? Let's let's grab a few pieces here, and we'll just do it in bulk. That way we don't have to worry about doing it again, at least for a little while anyway. So there's that, and then we needed lava, which I think is all downstairs, isn't it? We don't have any lava up here. So let's go downstairs, and we will set one of these up next to our smeltery. So just like so, if you haven't seen this before, pretty simple to get going. Can I put water in here? I can put my whole bucket in there. Uh, let's see. If I do this, can I do that? Okay. So I don't... <laughs> I'm just trying to save my source block of water is all I'm trying to do. That, and then can I get my water back? Oh, I think I have to cast out the water to get it back, don't I? Okay, well, let's do that. should be pretty simple to do, and there it is. Cool. So I made the sword blade pattern ready to go for that, but we just need the material to put in there. And I think you just drop gold into lava surrounded by nether brick on all four sides. And then there we go. So there's 63 demon ingots. And I think you need two of those for a sword blade. So once those melt down, it should cast out into our sword blade pattern. And then we can apply that to our unbreakable stone broadsword to turn it into a demonic broadsword. And it should have a lot more damage ready to go. All right, guys. So our current sword right now has no upgrades on it. That's just the standard stone plus, I think, copper. Is that what we had for the binding? I don't remember. No, we have bone and then wood for the handle. So that gives us 6.5 attack. Now, if we throw this on here, that bumps us up to 14.6. So that's over twice the amount of damage just from adding that on there, which is super cool. So we'll go ahead and go with this for now. And then as we get more modifiers on this thing, uh, we can start putting some quartz to increase the damage a little bit more. Uh, but for right now, I'm pretty happy with this. Demonic Broadsword whispers to you, hey you, let's go kill everything. Hack slash, hack slash, hack and slash, hack and slash. I mean, I can get down with that. Uh, so since last episode, I did go ahead and I added in a wall that surrounds this top layer so we don't accidentally fall off. And then I did uh, go ahead and put this ring around. So this is the same level as that wall. And I think we're going to fill this all in with dirt once we get enough dirt. And then, you know, like grass spread around. So we have kind of like, you know, our main area with a grassy area and then our work area and then another grassy area. Yeah, I think we talked about that a little bit last episode, but that's where we are with that for right now. Okay. So I think it is now time for us to go into our quest book here and... Uh, start looking at quests. We didn't really do any quests last episode, and I feel a little bit bad about that. So we got to figure out where we are with all of this. Uh, currently, this flight totem says that it is unclaimed, but you cannot claim it. We've already claimed this one. But yeah, it still says it's unclaimed, and then has this little exclamation mark thing here, which makes me want to click in here and claim it. But yeah, again, we can't do that because we've already claimed everything. So going through the quests here, aside from doing some agricraft stuff and mystical agriculture stuff, uh, the next things on the list for us to do, maybe we should start looking at knocking these quests out. Yeah, we really need to get ourselves enough of the RAK so I can um, just go ahead and grab this sword. I don't think the first tier, is this better than what we just made for our current sword? Uh, where does it say attack damage eight? No. So it does have looting on it, which I think our sword has looting as well. Um, but yeah, our current sword has more attack damage. So, uh, 
Yeah, we still need to get ourselves 100 RA key so we can upgrade to the tier 2, which will be better than the tier 3, etc. Um, so again, going back to the quest book, let's go ahead and start knocking out some of these quests here. Again, I don't want, I don't want to leave these things uh, for last and then have to go through and do all these things that don't matter anymore. You know what I mean? So we're going to knock these out as soon as we can. Um, so sluice box is one of the items that we want. We want an infinite water generator. I don't know if we can make this, but we'll look at doing that. Uh, whoops, it closed out the book. And we want to do a thermal pile, which is another way for us to generate power. Go back. And finally, a mag wind turbine. Okay, so let's take a look at these things, see what we can do as far as these go. So let's start off with the sluice box. I think I heard the sluice box actually has... Some pretty good use in this mod pack, but I haven't really looked at it myself. I'm noticing that we need this rocky chunk. I'm not sure how to get those. Uh, so it looks like you can put gravel through the sluice box and you get flint at 100%. So that's cheaper if we need flint, which we don't. Uh, that's cheaper than doing three gravel in uh, your crafting grid for one. Plus you also get a 15% chance at another one. And then if we put sand in here, we get a chance at gold. Oh, man, there's so many different pieces here, huh? Okay. Uh, and then, let's see. We can put archaic bricks in here for a chance of embers. A 100% chance of embers. So if we can farm up archaic bricks with, like, a mob farm, uh, I guess we'd have to farm up the archaic brick, turn them into the bricks, and then we can sluice box that for more ember. I think that's probably something that would be very, very useful for us. Okay, so the sluice box requires two planks, two sticks, an iron mesh and some slabs. The iron mesh is an iron stiffened mesh plus an iron sheet. Uh, we still don't have a good way to make iron plates yet. We still have our crushing table thing over there. I think the hammer for that's in here. It is. All right, so let's grab some iron. And then we needed to get ourselves, I guess, some string. And I don't remember how to make the iron stiffened mesh. It's been a little bit of time since we've last done that. So that is just a flint stiffened mesh string. Okay, so we need flint as well. Awesome. All right, so we'd make ourselves a string mesh, then we put in some six of this to make the flint mesh, and then six of these to make the iron mesh, and then we need an iron ingot in order to turn it into the other thing. So over at our crushing table here, we can right-click one of those and right-click a few more times. Okay, here we go. Here's an iron mesh. Very good. So now that we have that, we just need the slabs, the planks, and the sticks. All pretty easy. We have two slabs, not enough. So stone, a stick, and then plank. All right, so now we should have everything ready to go to make ourselves a sluice box. Awesome. All right, so I don't remember how this thing works. It says it needs water. Oop, quest complete. Um, okay, so it faces backwards. I don't know if that's the way we want it to face. And then I, oh man, it's been a while since I've done this. You right click water. And I think it uses water every single time you sluice. Oh, look at that. The water just went away. Okay, so I think the way, man, it's been a while. I feel like the way that works is you can use it unlimited as long as the water is in there, but the water runs away after a certain amount of time. Or is it only one thing per? I really can't remember. Uh, gravel. Let's try putting some gravel in here. Did I just put in 20 pieces? Or was that just one piece? Oh man, that did a bunch. I just got 64 gravel from however much I put in there. Yeah, I just put in that. Okay, so you can put in quite a bit. Ah, that works a lot better than I thought it was going to work. I kind of felt like it was going to be one at a time, but that seems like that's a lot better than that. Uh, we need to get ourselves this stuff, <laughs> like our water and stuff up here. And we're going to continue to use this, but this is pretty cool anyway. So we have this for later. You have to use a pick to harvest it. Ten gravel. All right, so let's put that away for now. Uh, once we start farming mobs, we will get some use out of that for getting some more of the ember stuff. But for right now, yeah, I think we're just going to go ahead and put this stuff away. Cool. All right, so that one's done. Water generator. I bet this works with the sluice since this is from the same mod. At least I would... I'd like to think so. Uh, in order to make a water generator, we need an infinite water from nuclear craft, which means we need 10 to what? 
two buckets of water, and four basic plates, which is graphite dust and lead. So graphite dust, we need graphite bars. Did, did I make graphite? Was that what I made accidentally? Um, by melting down coal and casting out ingots? I think I might've already made some of these. Yeah, we have graphite ingots. Okay, so how many of those in total did we need? So we wanted, oops, what did I click on? Oh, that's double tungsten plate. Uh, so basic plating, you get two of those. All right, so we need, we need four of those and four lead. So we should be able to do this, no problem. Um, and then I, I don't know, do you have to have that ground down? I guess you probably do, because it says those don't go in here. So how do you grind this down? Do we have to get ourselves a pulverizer, macerator, uh, pulverizer? Now, did we make a pulverizer already? I know we made some thermal machines. What is this one? Oh, that is a pulverizer. All right, so we'll just throw that in there. Hopefully that'll be done. Uh, or actually, I guess we can't really go anywhere because we need that. Okay. I was going to let that finish, and then I was going to come back for it, but we need it right now. Okay, so we have these, and then we have those, and there we go. So there's some basic platings. Very good. So we got that all set. Moving right along in this infinite water source. Uh, we need two more tin, and then we need uh, two buckets of water. So there is one more bucket. Okay. So now that we have this, we should be able to make, oh, I need two tin ingots. Awesome. So there is an infinite water source. I think if I just set that down, I can get myself my bucket of water back out of there. There we go. Okay, so now that we have infinite water sources, these are pretty good. That might even be able to replace what we're using downstairs with the sink and the translocators for the sprinklers, I think, for right now. Um, so double tungsten and plates. Oh, man, we need four buckets of water. All right, let's set that down. Bucket. Well, we just so happen to have the ability to make four buckets of water, which is fantastic. All right, so we have five buckets of water now. So double tungsten plates, how do you make those? That is made with a tungsten block crush on the crushing table or with a hydraulic press. You know what, I think we'll just do the crushing table. Tungsten. All right, so we don't have a block. I am just going to do it this way. And then we can throw it over here on the crushing table and just smack it a few times with our hammer that we already have with us. Awesome. So there is the double tungsten. So that should be everything, right? Infinite water, the water buckets, and the double tungsten plates. So now we should be able to make this and complete this quest, right? Awesome. All right. So let us claim this one and we will claim this one. All right. So moving along the thermal pile. This guy does require more double tungsten plates, fine copper wire, and a small battery. So the fine copper wire requires copper wires and tungsten, and the small battery, lead, iron nuggets, and sulfur. Do we have a sulfur? We do. Let me go ahead and craft that up, and we'll continue on. All right, guys. So we should have everything ready to go to craft up a thermo... Thermo pile? Yeah, that's what it's called. So there is that. So we should get a quest complete for that one. And then we should also have the wind turbine as well. Oh, you know what? I need one stone. One stone. We should be able to craft that. So this guy, that guy, that, this, and... Oh, I needed another battery rip. All right, well, that's easy enough. We'll grab one copper. We need four lead. Two iron nuggets. If I can click in the thing, iron... Two of those and two sulfur. All right, well now we should be able to do it. I thought we had everything ready to go and foolishly I did not, but now we do. So there we go, awesome. So now we have yet another item complete. All right, so we can put the support column away. I don't think we need that. We don't need the fine copper wire or the double tungsten. Actually, you know what? 
I think the tungsten, the double tungsten plate, I'll keep over in this chest since it is pretty much just tungsten that's doubled up, right? And if I search for tungsten, I will see that and I won't have, be like, oh, we need to craft it. We are starting to run low on tungsten. I'm gonna have to figure out how to get more of that stuff. But anyway, we have this ready to go and we have that one ready to go. So that's 10 more RAK and we are up to 57 on the tool tip at the top and we need 100. So we're more than halfway to where we need to be. And let's continue on here. So mag power transfer, mag solar panel. Does that give us RAK? It does. Electrical machine block. Is that expensive? That is. That requires more tungsten. Okay. Uh, we might hold off on that. Well, you know what? That gives us four. That's one, two, three, four ingots worth of tungsten. We should be able to do that. No problem. Just a lot of crafting. I mean, honestly, at this point, I feel like we should get into immersive engineering and get the metal presses going because the way we're making the copper wires right now, uh, I'm hammering out the plates on the, the crushing table and I'm using shears on this. Um, yeah, I'm using shears on that to turn it into the wire. But if we had, oh, where is it? Yeah, if we had the metal press, one copper ingot doesn't even need to be turned into a plate. It just goes on the metal press mold and you get two of them. So it's uh, way more efficient, but then we need our power supply, our power system up and running. We haven't really done that yet, so I don't know which way we should go right now. Maybe we'll hold off on that for a second. Let's take a look at this mag power transfer. So copper coil we've already done. We just need one electrical connector, and that's super cheap. Okay, so we need... Two stone, a copper, and an iron. Well, that's easy enough. Two stone, one copper, and one iron. I thought this was gonna be a little bit more expensive, but this is pretty inexpensive, to be honest. Uh, what am I looking for? I am looking for this, which I did not bookmark or search for. All right, so there we go. Electric connector. So that should be another quest complete. Easy. And then the mag battery is looking expensive. Electrical machine blocks and then the medium batteries, which is a small battery and more sulfur and a lot of zinc. Do we have enough zinc? We do have zinc. How about sulfur? We have that. Well, we might be able to do this. I think we should be able to do that. Okay, okay. Um, and then the electrical machine blocks do require the fine copper wires and that tungsten. I think tungsten is probably the one thing that we should figure out because I don't think that we are going to have enough of it. So currently we've been getting it through sifting and you sift crushed nether rack in order to get it. Okay, well, I mean, that is fine. We need to go and get a whole bunch of that from the nether, which is doable if we're gonna sift for it. Uh, other than that, if we want to get the ore itself, is does it show where you get this? You can get it from mining. You can get it from the flower thing. Uh, Wolframite is tungsten, but yeah, none of this tells you like the dimension or where you can get it from. I don't know if we can get it. I mean, this is land core, so I assume you get it from Landia, which we have not opened the portal to yet. Are we able to open the portal to that? That was on like the alpha tab, right? Landium. Need the ore to get to Landia. No, there was the one quest that we had available that allowed us to open the portal. This one to Landia. Uh, the quest says, really, it's always raining in this dimension. If you remove biome tweaker, that is of only two biomes. So basically it says the dimension only has two biomes and it's always raining because biome tweaker is in the pack. I assume it's not raining when we go there. Uh, must kill undead near this block to get the portal open. So you place down the portal. You want two blocks above the ground so you can walk underneath it. You'll see a beam, but in order to activate it, instead of using like a flint and steel, you have to kill an undead mob near it. Okay. Um, so that's how you do this, but I didn't see what the recipe is for this. So that's Landium. Ooh. Oh, HOP Graphite. Ooh, you know what? This is, uh, I mean, besides the HOP graphite, I think that is pretty easy to, for us to do, right? 
Uh, we need to get ourselves a squeezer. Yeah, we need an arc furnace, right? Is that the only way? To, no, you can just cook that. So we don't need an arc furnace. We do need the dust. And in order to get the dust, we have to get ourselves an industrial squeezer with coke dust. So we need to make an industrial squeezer. Okay, you know what? I think we're going to not do this battery block. I think we're going to go down this path and see if we can get ourselves more tungsten. And then we can revisit magnetic craft, which requires a whole lot of tungsten, it looks like. Um, so coke dust. Yeah. Oh, we also need a crusher. I thought we could just craft that using like a pulverizer or something. But yeah, we are definitely going to need a crusher. So we need both a crusher and industrial squeezer. So let's go to our engineer's manual, which I think is in here. So if we go to heavy machines, let's do crusher. So in order to make that, we need a lot of parts. So that's going to be a lot of steel, a redstone engineering block, light engineering blocks, steel fence, and nine hoppers. Well, I think we've made a good portion of all these other things before. Maybe we never made steel scaffolding. Or maybe not the redstone engineering block either. So that's three steel ingots plus uh, three of these. And those are made two above each other. It gives you four... Okay, I feel like we did some of this stuff before. Maybe we just looked at the recipes. How are we doing on steel? We have only 14. That's not a lot. Did we have any that was down here cooking that I forgot about? Maybe we did. Um, No, we don't. That's not good at all. Okay, so 24 into that means we can put 24 iron in there to cook that up. Uh, all right, I'll go ahead and break apart some of these... Uh, blocks into ingots get 24 going into the blast furnace down there and I'll start working on this as much as we can we'll be right back guys all right guys so after crafting up a whole bunch of stuff I think we have everything ready to go to make ourselves our crusher and our squeezer but I haven't tried clicking on these things yet to make sure they actually form so let's give that a go together so you need to click on the correct spot with the engineer's hammer in order for this to turn. And I think you do it on this side from the squeezer. And I feel like it's on this. Yeah, for the crusher. If you click it on the wrong block, nothing happens. So you got to make sure you click it in the right spot in order for that to turn into the multi-block. So yeah, we now have two immersive engineering multi-block machines here. So the crusher and the squeezer both need power. And we don't have power over here to give them. Now we did make that thermal pile, which we could probably use. And I do believe that uses temperature difference between hot and cold. So like if you put lava and water on one side, or I guess lava on one side, water on the other side, then that'll start producing power. So we could try doing that. I don't actually know how much power this produces. I don't think it's a whole lot. Uh, we have water on us. Let's grab a bucket of lava, I suppose. And then do we have any extra slabs? I guess we can grab some stone, make some more. And there we go. All right, so let's go grab ourselves a bunch of lava real quick. Should be all we need. And then we're gonna need a way to transfer power around. So do we have LV wire connectors, LV wire relays, and only one insulated LV wire. So I'm gonna have to make more, I'm pretty sure. Now the power connector is in the back here. Um, yeah, you know what? I think we are going to have to make more of these things. Well, anyway, let's just get this thing going for now. So thermal pile, we'll just stick right up against this wall. And then we will just put some slabs like that to keep the different liquids in place. So lava over here and water over here. Now you don't get any feedback that's doing anything, but I'm pretty sure we are doing something. So let's do that to here. And we are getting no power because we're not doing anything. Hmm. Am I doing something wrong here? This is making IF. Yeah, this still says we're not getting anything. Does this damage me? Nope. Okay, well, something is going on. Either you can't do LV wire co connector to LV wire connector, or I have done something incorrectly here. It might be that we do need to use the relays. I cannot remember for sure but i will try making another one of these insulated wires and then we'll give this another go you know why this isn't giving us rf is because it doesn't make rf yep 
I forgot, Magnetic Craft makes its own separate power. So we have 120 volts, and we're making, I guess those are joules? I'm not sure what J stands for. And you can see we're making, like, things are happening here, but we're not producing RF because this does not produce RF. Derp. Okay. Well, I've, I, I thought there was a version of this particular block that makes RF. And I got confused, but the magnetic craft ones are not the blocks that we are looking for. Okay, so we're gonna redo this. We're gonna use this Sterling, simple Sterling generator because we have it and it does in fact produce RF. Now it doesn't produce a whole lot of it, but it does produce RF and that's what we're gonna go with. Um, so yeah, you can see we are producing, I guess micro infinities is what they're called, but it's essentially RF. All right, so if we do that, we are now getting power here. So that's what we're looking for. All right, so in order for us to make the HOP graphite that we need for this Landia portal, we are going to need, what is it, 16 coal coke in order for us to do that. So hopefully I have not turned all of our coal coke into uh, steel, because I did put a bunch in over here. So we got 13 more steel. And, oh, we only got 13 coal coke. So we might have to wait on that a little bit unless we have some in our storage. I'm not sure if we do. Let's take a look. We don't, okay. Well, we're gonna have to wait on a little bit, but that's fine. Uh, so essentially, the only thing we need to do is put eight of those, just drop those right into the crusher, and that should start spitting out what we need. Yep, and then we need to provide this with power, but in order to do that, we do have to make ourselves another LV wire connector. Um, And that is made with copper and terracotta. Well, let's go make those real quick. Uh, I think, well, we might not have enough clay actually. Oh, we do, perfect. And then we need three copper. Go ahead and throw that into here, grab that, and throw the four of these into here. Awesome. Okay, so that's pretty easy. And there we go. So now we can power both of our machines. Okay, so we'll give, we'll give this the LV wire connector here and then we will run this to here. So now both of these should be getting power and looks like everything is working correctly. Now if I put in eight of these, it should squeeze that down. It's using all the power. Hopefully that's not like preventing it from actually completing. I don't think it does. I think it's just gonna complete slower. Uh, and then this is completely full. Yeah, so this is using more power than our Sterling generator can provide, but I think it should complete. I feel like, yeah, so HOP graphite does. So that did complete, but it's pretty dang slow, right? All right, well, in order for us to do what we need to do, I need to get myself three more coal coke. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, so we needed just enderium is the only thing that we had left to get this thing done we found landium ingots in the nether we've already had sapphires i just made another dawn zone aspectus we made that before and the hop graphite we just smelted down into the ingots so yeah currently just casting out the uh enderium so it is three lead four pearls one platinum i put in uh four lead by accident but anyway uh, we should now have everything ready to go in order to make ourselves the portal to Landia. And there it is. Awesome. So it says once place a few blocks above ground, activate by killing an undead mob in the vicinity. Now, I don't know how close it has to be, but we need to get ourselves an undead mob and we have to place this thing down. And I think we're going to go ahead and wait until next episode to go to Landia. But today... Yeah, I think that is going to do it for this episode, guys. We were able to get ourselves our first little bit of immersive engineering technology going. I still want to make myself a bunch more things, uh, including the metal presses. I don't know exactly how many we need, but I want one for like the plates and I want one for the wire since we have to make a whole bunch of those. And I think there's two other ones that we use quite often and we'll see about making multiple of those things or not. But anyway, that is going to do it for this episode of Project Ozone 3. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on this episode if you liked it. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.